Uh, hey, this is Ari Koinuma speaking. Uh, today I'm going to share with you uh, this Pro Analog Draw Drive. It's a low to get mid, low to mid gain overdrive um, that um, has uh, some really nice uh, open sort of s sounding uh, tone to it, even when it, there is a, a nice musical compression when it's turned up like that. Uh, so anyway, here it is with it bypassed. Okay, and we'll start with the low gain mode. As you can see, it's really nice, uh, you know, uh, bright and uh, dynamic uh, in low gain mode. This bite knob is the treble knob, but um, this knob uh, deals with the range of frequencies that really primarily deals with your sense of distance of like how far is the sound source from you. So if you turn it down, instead of sounding darker, it just sounds far away. <laughs> When you turn it up, um, it gets louder, so uh, I'm going to back off the level a little bit here. So, as you can see, even when it's low, rolled back quite a bit, um, you know, it doesn't make it sound darker. You know, a little bit more politer in the top range, but uh, it just mainly sounds farther away which um, of course you can compensate with the level here uh, for my strat obviously um, I like to set it somewhat um, on the low side now the bark knob is the mid-range but uh, this also is fairly subtle it deals with mainly low mid-range um, <laughs> thinner and scooped and then when you turn up it sounds beefier sort of a, a nice fine tuning of the sound <laughs> um, <coughs> anyway and then this a uh, fat knob uh, you just as a pull boost um, which deals more with oh it, it was already on so I'll just push it on and then it sounds tighter in the low range I don't know if the microphone will pick it up or not <laughs> hear the difference a little more when it's in the higher game mode and then do a palm muting anyway so uh, again it's kind of subtle um, you can feel it uh, when you um, are in the room listening to the real amp um, more but um, it just mainly deals with the thud range as opposed to you know actually making things sound bad in my opinion wait it is pulled out wait there it, it is pulled out now <coughs> So 
as you can hear, there's a nice uh, sort of compression to it. Uh, it makes it, you know, easy to play leads, but uh, it still sounds really nice and open and focused. And that's really sort of the uh, signature sound of this pedal. <laughs> Also the healthy you know turbo content you know the, the pickups difference really comes through uh, here is a, a bridge and middle <laughs> hear the you know the guitar coming through so that's really nice uh, let's see there are some quirks to this uh, this pedal this is the input and then this is the output as you can see on the labels here which is opposite of what most pedals are so that really sort of uh, irks some people putting it on the pedal board um, I, right now I'm using a battery but uh, this 9 volt uh, input it can also take I believe up to 12 volt and then when you put it in 12 volt obviously it sounds a little more dynamic uh, more a little bit more crisp uh, attack although the difference is you know still somewhat subtle I think uh, in my opinion it's just uh, you know j just only you can tell when you AB it kind of thing uh, but you know some people like it better I like it better when it's uh, in 12 volt myself uh, let's see um, so the nice thing about this pedal I think is again uh, just the, the, the balancing act of openness plus um, you know sort of nice musical compression and it just really sort of I know it's really subjective but it really feels good to play um, especially when it's turned up uh, the, the volume is turned up um, overall um, it just really has a nice sort of natural feel to it you don't really feel like you're you know you're playing something that just triggers a distortion you know it just feels like it really responds to your playing so that's Pro Analog Dual Drive. Um, I'll see you next time.